All right, this is Stanton Drive. Nice brick rancher. Here's the neighborhood. This one's been remodeled across the street. That's UCCS up on the hill right there. This is elementary school down here on the bottom. And the next door neighbor's been remodeled as well. And we'll walk inside. Nice looking house. All mainly brick. Here's some painted stuff. And there's those older windows, but they're double paned. Then we come on inside here. This would be a foyer, living room, dining room. There's that baseboard heat we were talking about. And here's the kitchen. It's kind of a funky layout. And then here's your cooking area, your stove, oven. The oven's a little on the smaller side, a little narrow. Plywood cabinets. Newer dishwasher, a couple years old. And then here is the width of the kitchen. Not a very wide kitchen, but a lot of counter space. <laughs> lots and lots of counter space. Here's these air conditioning units that we keep finding in the house too. And you got your washer here. I don't see a dryer. And you go out to the garage. It's a very large garage. Older doors, you might replace those eventually. But very deep garden here as well. Then you can come into the, another living room. This is where the gas log fireplace is, right there. And going out to the, this is like a sunroom, which is very large. There's Charlie. Nice sunroom out back here. You got a Pikes Peak view right there out at your backyard. Big trees. That's an alleyway right back behind the behind the stockade fence. And we'll go back in the house here. And then there's a hallway that goes into a bedroom and a bath from the living room here. And then we got a bathroom. It's on the peach pink Pepto Bismol side. So you got a little, it's in good shape, it's just ugly color. You can get the tile and the tub refinished reasonably and then replace the toilet, which I would definitely replace. Here's the utility room right here. There's the boiler, hot water heater, both. And then here's another bedroom. This is a long, long, narrow bedroom. But, big enough for a bed. And then, this would be the center hall again, going back towards the dining room. Here's the master with the built-ins that we were talking about, with the ten built-ins. Here's the master. Large master, very bright. Don't even really need a light on in here right now. Here's the master bedroom closet. Nice and deep. Not a walk-in, but deep closet. And we got the third bedroom right here on the end. There's some plants on the floor. Got a little carpet damage right there from plants. I would guarantee that's plants. And then the bathroom next to the master. This is again on the older side. This is a brown tub. Really good shape steel tub. Definitely would replace it. And then uh, we got some brown toilet. So, and some wonderful, awesome colored um, wallpaper. So that's pretty much the house. And here we'll walk back on Center Hall again. And here's one of that those large closets we were talking about. Very, very large. And this is that front formal type of living room with the other living room going out to the sun porch.